Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica if you are new here and today we're gonna go through what I'm packing for my hospital bag. I am gonna be 36 weeks pregnant tomorrow so baby's gonna be here in like like four weeks. I, it's crazy. I Yes, I had to count that on my, my hand because I'm having such a tough day. You know, some days you're like, oh yeah, this isn't so bad. Well, today, today I feel it. Today I feel it very hard and it's hitting me very hard. I just texted Jake and I'm like, I'm not feeling it today. <laughs> like my mood, everything, I feel very bothered. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video and let me show you what I'm packing for my hospital or in my hospital bag. So right behind me here, I have my suitcase. I just figured packing a suitcase will probably be the easiest thing, not only for myself, but also for Jake to just grab. Um, doesn't take up a lot of space in my car, and it's just one thing for him to grab once it's time. So, and it's on wheels, like super easy. I have so much stuff laid out in front of me, so we'll, we'll just start going through this very randomly. I decided to grab one of these reusable grocery bags. I heard that the hospital gives you a lot of stuff to take home, so that's that's what this is intended for. It doesn't take up a lot of space. I didn't want to bring like another extra bag, so just throwing that in there. A baby book for G Baby. <laughs> <laughs> One of my friends actually told me to pack this um, and I initially wasn't gonna do a baby book but I'm like such a sentimental person um, but this book is just super cute it's like my arrival you can put pictures in here but the reason why I'm bringing it to the hospital is because they can stamp his footprint into I forget where it is but there's a page in here for his footprint so I figured I'll bring this with me and they can just do it right then and there a fan. I heard these fans are fantastic. So this is just a stroller fan. Uh, I get cold very easily, but who knows after labor, I might be really hot. So another one of my friends told me to bring one of these. So that's what I'm bringing. Um, a sound machine. I heard these are fantastic. I actually got a pack of two. So one that's going to stay like in the baby's room and then one's gonna be intended for traveling so I'm just gonna bring this with me I need to charge it in advance but bring that with me and then for <laughs> for my like uh, what is this toiletry bag I'm bringing one of these so I've had this for quite a long time and initially I was just gonna put things into like a packing cube just so I would have easy access and visibility to it but I don't have enough packing cubes I have three and I've already loaded them full of stuff so I figured okay uh, this is probably easier anyway to hang you know on things and it doesn't take up a lot of uh, counter space there we go so I'm gonna run through what's in my toiletry bag really quick we have some floss some lotion I have some um, body wash more lotion I have the things that go in your ear I can't remember the name of them right now you know you know you guys know what it is um we got some listerine we got more lotion i have some nasal spray dry shampoo i am bringing some aleve in case i need it i know that they'll probably have some there but i'm gonna bring it anyway it doesn't take up that much space uh shampoo conditioner some deodorant and then hair ties um and bobby pins then i brought some stool softener it doesn't take up a lot of space so i'm gonna bring it unisom for sleep and some prenatal vitamins and then in these side pockets i think i have my toothbrush and my toothpaste yeah so in the side pocket i have my toothbrush toothpaste a hairbrush and i think that is it for my toiletry bag <laughs> Of course, I'm bringing some makeup in case we take pictures. I mean, I just put it in a Ziploc baggie. I'm not bringing too much, just mascara, uh, some foundation, blush, bronzer, and two like makeup brushes. It doesn't take up a lot of space. And then I'm also going to bring some wipes with me. And then we have all the postpartum goodies in one of these little um, cubes. They're, the, the packing cubes I really like because they're clear and you can see right through them. So. Um, starting off with just, you know, the, all the fun stuff, the really thick, big pads. 
I threw some of those in there. I know the hospital's gonna have some, but I wanted to bring my own. And then I also brought regular pads and then these cold pads. I, I know the hospital's gonna have these for me too. Um, when it comes to my birth plan, I don't have a birth plan yet. <laughs> and I should probably figure this out like now, but my mindset is if I can have a natural birth, like natural meaning for me, just a, um, an epidural and have, you know, a vaginal birth, cool. Um, if I can't, then I'll have a C-section, obviously. Um, but I, I don't know what to expect. I haven't taken any classes. <laughs> I'm so unprepared. Um, we did take a tour of the hospital, which was really helpful, but I'm an over preparer and I get anxiety and I also don't want to stress myself out. And I think preparing myself for the worst is going to stress me out. So I'm just gonna, I can handle it. You know, I've been through worse. It'll be okay. I also got one of these like pain and itch sprays. Again, if I have a vaginal, I, I think that's what I'm gonna need. And then I know that the hospital's also gonna give me those like mesh, um, what's it called? You know, they're gonna give me those like mesh diapers. So I, these, I don't know if these are by Frida, but I think that they are. They're just the, the disposable underwear. I don't know. I put a couple of those in there. They don't take up a lot of space, like I said. And then I did bring these Tux medicated pads i don't really know they're cooling pads so i guess you just put them in your yeah we don't need to go over all that but that's what i have packed there again i know the hospital is going to have a handful of things for me to use so i'm trying to bring some stuff just in case but i probably won't need to use it we'll cross that bridge when we get there um moving on to just clothes that i'm bringing i'm bringing two nursing bras i picked these up from amazon and they have like an enclosure up here that you can just pull this down if you're breastfeeding i figured they're kind of like a sports bra and i think i'm gonna like these so i brought two of them just in case hopefully they fit <laughs> um big granny panties again self-explanatory and then for a coming home outfit I don't know how I'm gonna feel <laughs> so I know people said like you want to wear like things that are loose so I just decided to throw in one of my sheen dresses it's got like the drawstring around my waist um, it's easy to pull down if I do need to breastfeed like in the car um, and it's it should be comfortable to wear so um, I did I do plan to wear that and then if I need to I also brought like shorts these are um, the ones that I've mentioned before in my pregnancy essentials they're from Amazon but just biker shorts I doubt I'll want to wear like something tight but they're really comfortable and I know that I'm just gonna be one of, I just I'm just gonna want to be comfortable after I give birth so um, and then I also am bringing one of these, um, it's like an active long sleeve t-shirt. It's really lightweight. And again, it's a maternity shirt. So it's not going to like cling to me and it's not going to be super tight, but I know I'm going to be comfortable in this. So those are the two outfits that I'm bringing. Also one outfit is black. Um, and I read that, you know, you want to stick to darker colors. Um, the dress is light but it's super lightweight and it's gonna be hot af so that's why i'm bringing those i am bringing two pairs of socks just regular regular sockies and then i am bringing a pair of the grippy socks as well shoes i am bringing a pair they look dirty but i swear i just washed them um, I am bringing a pair of um, shower shoes. I don't know if I'm going to shower at the hospital, but I know that they have showers there. I heard that you should take a shower because it's probably going to make you feel better. <laughs> so these are going to be my shower shoes. Easy to slip on and off. I didn't want um, plastic uh, flats because, I don't know, I'm really weird when it comes to plastic, um, like just thong sandals. 
they just don't feel good on my feet so I I don't own a pair um, in addition to my Crocs I am gonna bring a pair of these Birkenstocks um, this brand is I think it's like a I think they did a collab or maybe this is the brand Papa Papapilio. I don't know. They were kind of pricey. Um, I saw them on TikTok and then I did some research and I did find them on sale. Um, and so I grabbed them. So I am going to be bringing these because they're comfortable and I highly doubt I'm going to be wanting to tie my shoes. This is the start of my snack bag. <laughs> so I am bringing snacks. I'll, you know, fill it up right before it's time, but some cashews in case I get a little bit hungry. I'll put some snacks in here for Jake too. Um, just a protein bar and then, you know, one of these protein bars as well. Myself. I'm also bringing a robe. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot about this, but this robe is from Amazon. It is like waffle knit and it's lightweight, but then hefty enough that it's going to keep me warm too. Um, it's kind of like a little bit shorter, but I don't mind that because I just don't mind it. So love that. And then I'm also bringing pajamas. These are some of my favorite pajamas. It's like a pajama dress situation, like a moo moo. <laughs> um, this one has long sleeve. I have another like short sleeve one that I... I'm sleeping in now but I think I'm gonna order one more just so that way I can bring two pajamas I don't know if I should bring two though I think one is gonna be enough so I'm gonna bring one pair of pajamas but I'm gonna order another pair for the house I think they're just so dang comfortable like the material is so good um, so yeah that's from Amazon and I'll link it below and then I'm also gonna pack and bring with me a towel for the shower if I take one at the hospital. So moving on to the baby stuff, I am gonna bring my Haka. Um, this is just like a manual breast pump, and I'm not gonna open it right now, but it's basically like this plastic thing that you put on your boob. Here's a picture of it. Um, and then the little stopper that comes with it. I got both of these in like a pack at Target, so I'm bringing that with me. I am going to bring a little baby sign when he is born so I can like fill it out and take pictures um, of him next to it. And then for like baby clothes, I kind of struggled with this because it kind of hit me. I'm like, I don't really know what to pack for a newborn <laughs> and he's going to be here in like a month. Um, so I am bringing just one of these like blankets if I need to swaddle him in it you know I'm assuming I could swaddle him in it I'm also bringing an actual swaddle so like one of these situations and it like velcros I still need to ask my sister to show me how to use that again and again or watch a YouTube video because I that's gonna be tough but I can handle it it'll be okay I am bringing three like little diapers for like the ride home in case he needs them. I know the hospital is going to give me diapers, but figured I'd bring some of those with me. I am bringing some nipple cream with me as well. And then I'm bringing like two little onesies. Um, we live in Florida and it does get hot. So I figured like two little onesies should be okay and then going home outfit I don't know like one of these situations that tie at the bottom and then he's got like a cute little matching hat to go with it and then I'm bringing another like nicer outfit this one is just gray and it like buttons here and again it ties at the bottom and a cute little hat to go with it as well. <laughs> so that's that. And then the remainder, I'm gonna put everything into the see-through um, cube. And then I'm bringing like a burp cloth and then another burp cloth. I mean, this should just get us through the drive home. I am bringing little socks for him. So I just decided to bring like two pairs. I think that's all we'll need. A couple of 
mittens for him. A pacifier clip. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna use this, but it's in here. And then I'm also bringing two little pacifiers and I like that they're in this like plastic container. So it's not getting like, you know, it's not touching anything. It's not supposed to touch. The last two items that I have in here, um, I'm just gonna bring these disposable nursing pads like this little pack came in one of those like free registry bags um, and it also comes with a storage bag for breast milk so I'll just throw that in there and then just some baby wipes bring those with me as well and I think that is it um, if I'm missing anything please let me know in the comment section below this is obviously my first time going through it so open to all the advice and feedback um, from you guys I also packed like a couple of disposable um, like bags for dirty clothes or I don't know a dirty diaper for on the way home but I think we're good um I can't believe like in the matter of four weeks little man is gonna be here and I'm gonna be a mom it's just like mind-blowing to me pregnancy has been it's actually not been bad at all um I, th I know that the next month is going to test me because today I'm struggling and it's been like the first day that has hit me like hard mentally, physically, and emotionally, but we're almost there and I'm so excited. Jake is so excited and we're just so excited to be parents. Um, thanks for tuning in, hanging out with me, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.